Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to show how to create and edit pick lists within Triple C. Pick lists can be thought of as the pricing or charges for events. On an event, I can choose from any of these preloaded lists to quickly add line items or charges. Some examples of pick lists I might add into Triple C would be food and beverage menus, AV equipment pricing, or additional staffing or equipment charges. Pick lists will have each line item listed separately with the option to select an entire list of pricing and add all at once. I can also see headers within my pick lists that separate my different items into sections. To create a new pick list or edit an existing one, the appropriate settings access is needed. I'm going to go into settings and then pick lists where I can now see all of the pick lists for any locations I have access to. I can search by pick list name, filter the pick lists by location, and if need be, I can recover any deleted pick lists. If I would like to arrange the order of the pick lists, I can use the icons to the left to drag and drop. If I need to adjust a pick list, I can click into the gear icon and select edit or just click on the name of the pick list. I'm going to edit the $85 menu to reflect an adjustment to the field green salad. I can also adjust price or add additional items. This will not affect any existing documents that had already included that field green salad. If this were just a one day menu change, the change could be made on an event by event basis and wouldn't need to be adjusted in settings. But if this is a permanent menu change, I would want to be in settings to make that change. I want to make sure I click save after any adjustments are made. I also have the option to copy any existing pick lists. For example, if I have last year's holiday pick list that I want to reuse but have to make a few adjustments, I can click on the gear icon next to the pick list, select copy, and then go in to make the edits to the duplicated pick list. To add a brand new pick list, I'm going to click on new pick list on the top right. The name of the pick list is what will be visible when I initially click add from pick list while on the event documents. If I have multiple dinner menus with similar offerings, I might want to include a price in the name to differentiate when selecting on the event level, such as $95 dinner menu. The description is for internal view only. On the right, I will select which location or location should have access to this pick list. Next, I will choose the category to mass assign for this pick list. The categories I see here are set in menu item category settings. When added to an event, the line items will automatically have whatever category I assign it here. Categories are what assign the proper billing details and how I can report on the specific revenue being generated per event. If this menu is going to be mostly food, I want to mass assign the food category to the pick list. Next, I will be able to add the individual line items that will be the selectable options on this pick list. I can type in the line items or I can paste from a Word document or editable PDF. If there is strange formatting from where I'm copying from, I will need to clear the formatting through a program like TextEdit for Mac or Notepad for PC. Once the item has been typed out, I want to make sure I click the Add button at the bottom right to actually create the new line item. I can insert headers throughout the pick list to separate the sections as I have done with the first course, add-on, entree, dessert, and beverage add-on. It is important to ensure that I enter the price anywhere I am charging for items. Here I have a priced per person menu with options to add some additional pricing such as upcharges for adding meat to salads or additional costs for beverages. This pick list is mostly food, but there are a few beverage add-ons at the bottom. I am able to adjust the categories for any of the items as needed by clicking on the three dots to the right of the individual items and adjusting. Finally, I want to make sure that I click save once I am finished. If I want to check to see how this pick list will look on a set of documents before I add it, I can go back to the main pick list page in settings 
and click view within the gear icon to see how this pick list will appear so I can double check my formatting and pricing. Now the next time I'm adding from a pick list, I will see this new pick list as an option to add. If I need, I can adjust any of the text and adjust pricing on just this event and it will not affect the original pick list I created in settings. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to the support team, support at triplecseat.com, or by clicking the help question button on the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat.